You ready? I'm ready. Oh, shy one? Yeah, real shy. Awesome. Hey, folks, welcome again to another episode of Denny Artachi Show. We have a great guest today, Miss Joy Nash. And I got to tell you, I, 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 uh, I love interviewing people from different walks of life. People know about my financial business, my music, and you are something. I follow you on Facebook. And uh, so you're, you're a fitness coach, right? I mean, uh, and, and it, we're going to get into it later because you're certainly tall enough yeah, you did you you did a little bout in pro wrestling for a while, huh? Yeah, I I, I did a little, and you know, <laughs> for me it, it's it was a great experience because yeah. you you get to see that it's like a re really true athletic. Yeah, I, I bet mean, it does. And um, for me, it was like you got to put too much pain into getting paid little in the beginning to really <laughs> possibly make it. And I was like little bumps on the head. I need my brain so. You know, the funny the funny thing about it is you're right. People think that they're faking it, right? But you've got to be in shape. Amazing. They're jumping from the top of the uh, the rung. They're landing on you. Uh, that's not exactly faking it. I mean, uh, that's tough business. But first and foremost, you're a fitness coach, right? Yes. Uh, obviously, you work out. I mean, look at you. How often you how can you work out in the gym? I try to uh, really think of balance when it comes yeah. to training because... Cross training is for me the most effective, and you got to remember, like, you got to also count the time that you're sitting in a car, you're sitting on a computer, you're actually doing your work, mm -hmm. and then how much you want to work out, and then you have to make sure you double it on recovery. So you're doing stretching, you're doing rolling, you're getting massages. Okay. You're really um, uh, doing um, things that will heal the body. You okay, know, and that's when nutrition comes in, you know, eating and other facets of the people don't fitness. understand that you can work out all you want, but if you have a crappy diet, it's really not going to yes. get you where you want to. I mean, uh, I think uh, obviously carbs, too much booze, you know, sugar. things that I'm guilty of, uh, <laughs> sugar, yeah. I mean, I even think uh, too much coffee at the wrong time would, would probably stifle Yeah, things. that's my thing. <laughs> you just like the go-go <laughs> juice on I it. Love, my friend and I are like, you got your coffee, you're making it, you know, <laughs> doing our 6 o'clock meeting. <laughs> so it, you do a fitness. Where Where's the gym that people – you have a website, fitnessforjoy.net, yes, right? Yes, okay, so, so you obviously are – you have private clients and uh, – do you train much men? I mean, you know, you're you're a tall lady, I have, and you I, must. I have. There's a lot of funny stories I have with <laughs> I'm that. I'm sure you do. <laughs> a lot of them want to do it just to meet you. you right know? to to date you. Yeah, and then you know, <laughs> and then you quickly kick, find and out. And then you beat their butt in the gym. I'm like one of them. So I said to him, "Dude, you're lucky you're in in, in, in public because I kick your freaking ass." Uh, I, <laughs> I didn't we're, say the F word. Yes, but uh, we're kind of G-rated on the podcast here. <laughs> I didn't say but that. But there, there's no good substitute for the F word. I um, yeah, When you find a better colorful metaphor, folks, then we I can use it. that. I held it in. I didn't say it. And it's so funny because you sound like you're from New York, like me or Jersey, but you're actually from Rhode Island. Yes, that little tiny sliver. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is it like to grow up in Rhode Island? It was awesome. Really? I mean, it is a beautiful state. Um, okay. My family goes way back into the, actually the 1600s. They were came from Scotland. Really? So, yeah. See, so, that explains that, the Nordic. Uh, yeah. 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 How tall are you, Joy? Six feet. Or five <laughs> or something. You don't need uh, the and heels, have, you know. And I have two tall children. I have. One and you son do. That's five eleven. He's six, okay. Yeah, six feet. So, five. what got you into uh, the fitness thing? Um, actually, it it went back pretty far. I mean, I always grew up where I, it was Silver Lake and there was all hills. So mm -hmm. it was always riding your bike. And, you know, back then it was sure. normal for kids to be out doing activity. But I always had this like um, this high that I got when I did like sprints or, you know, doing like some kind of like strenuous exercise. So when I got introduced to you know, weights, which was my neighbor, Sheila, up the street, and her, her brothers. Yeah. I was like, wow, and I saw her muscles, you know. <laughs> and then she would kick her, her brothers behind sometimes. So that was fun to watch. <laughs> 
But so you have you I, also have three kids. I so saw Muscle and Fitness. You did, and that was it. And that was it. And Once Corey you saw Muscle and Fit and Corey, oh my yeah. God, yeah, yeah she was, was something it. else. That was it. I said I want to look like her. I even I even messaged her and told her that I took her pictures. Okay. And used to put them next to my bed so I could get up at four in the morning. Well, and when I, I see some of your posts on Facebook, I'm like. Well, she's flexing her, she's yeah. flexing her bicep and it's bigger than a lot of guys that I know and uh, that's got a I don't know but you train women as well and what I like also is you're part of uh, different women's organizations you you believe in empowering yes uh, you know instead of competing with fellow women and yeah. once in a while you all have your girls night out right where you mm -hmm. go out and celebrate and you get together and you network right yes and we'll be doing a, an event uh, it's girls night out southflorida.com and it's november 10th it's a free event okay um it'll be at the uh, uh, i think i wrote down the pavilion grill yes. in in boca raton yes yeah so, i've played there a few times i we'll know have, the place. i think like 250 women we're going to have like 25 to 26 um you know um women that have all their different um businesses so we're there to network we're there to empower one another you know, as many single women that are out there, you know, raising kids on their own, we really need to, we need to look at each other and, and edify one another and look to see how we can help our sisters. Because when we help our sisters, we're helping our kids, we're yeah. helping our kids, we're helping our future. Instead of complaining about what's going on in the news, do something or about Or competing it. with each other. Yes. That's, that's the... Um you know that's uh, i have a lot of female clients and mm -hmm. uh, i think it's great and because up until recently it was still still tough to do business in a so-called man's world they had those uh, stipulations or mind thoughts that mm -hmm. and uh, women are taking over for good reason they're, they're getting better at business they're making more money they're empowering one another it's great to see and uh so that'll be november 10th at the feeling girl yes. but you also you're also part of a center that's called, I believe, Care Advanced Laser Therapy. So, what do they what do they do at that center there? Carmen Care uh, Laser Leslie uh, mm -hmm. is actually the owner, and uh, we met way back. I met I actually met her daughter, and they were doing laser therapy for animals, I believe it or not. Really? And it was for pain therapies. Okay. Know, animals go through a lot of different illness as well. So then now she does all kinds. Of, she's always going to school. Uh, but she has it's uh, very busy so and, and um, where where's the uh, where is um, it located I think it's I think it's th 3301 uh, might be north northeast second avenue it's on second avenue but in, in boca yes okay so, now yeah. your site is fitnessforjoy.net mm -hmm. is there a, a a number a business number I don't want guys to call you because they want to date you because we're going to joke about the dating pool that you oh, posted boy. recently in book. <laughs> so yeah. they go to work out with you so they can date you and yeah. you find out the difference. But is there is there a business number if they want to uh, talk to you about fitness? And uh, there's a lot of good things that you do for people. Is there a business number they yes, can call? Yes, it's 561-674-6181. Uh, okay, great. So... You also studied sports science and injury management. You went to the Florida College of National Health. So you really know your stuff about, mm -hmm. uh, it's funny you say recovery. It's true. As, as you get older, like I am, I'm sure I'm older than you. Um, you work out and your body just says, screw you if you don't pay yeah. attention. And then you have diminished returns if you don't rest enough. So, you know, what do you tell most people who do here's the other problem too most people want to exercise they know they want mm -hmm. to exercise but they just can't get started and i always say look even if you start working walking 5 10 15 minutes a day go to the gym work out lightly but most routines that you t uh coach your clients in are they working out five days a week three four i think people try to they don't take priorities in their health and I see it. I've worked in um, orthopedic surgeon, whether we had the PT department, mm -hmm. and I still work, work partners with Dr. Edelman. Uh, great, he's a PT, but he's a doctor. Okay. And he does a lot of home home visits. He actually connected with Leslie. Um, you know, when you when you go on a level of, of really looking at a whole person that that doesn't take care of themselves and 
there's a condition that people are getting that their whole bodies shut down and when if you get any kind of illness your muscle tissue has a lot to do with your immunity and when you get sick what's the first thing that happens you lose drastic amount of weight and you're like how it's because the body survives off of that so you wonder why people drop dead because they're skinny they're skinny you know they don't look fat no. but, but they don't have any muscle tissue and people you know which you lose as you get older yeah you have exactly. to keep lifting and, that's and exercise you have to do that weight bearing women don't worry about getting too muscular because your hormones are probably screwed up anyway <laughs> i would suggest going for every, everyone go for a hormonal plant panel a lot of women you know, don't want to lift weights because that's true. Yeah. They feel that they're yeah. going to wind up, you know, big and bulky. <laughs> no. And uh, no, you no. have to take supplements and work your yes. butt off to get to that level. Yes. And you have to eat more if you're going yeah, to bulk up. and you've got to eat good quality food. I mean, I, I have Italian, as you can, I'm holding <laughs> my hands back. But <laughs> I'm holding them back, you know. Um, right but i believe that you it, cooking is so easy i mean yeah. you can you pre like you you're gonna you're gonna have a framework for everything a schedule for everything so you get up in the morning you got an hour till you leave so you you steam some vegetables you have different timers right you right steam your vegetables steam your rice sure you have your different food going on you know you're clocking it you gotta you gotta be responsible is it better it. to eat more often smaller meals yeah. like every two and to three hours things that are going to be easily assimilated right. assimilated meaning it's not been processed it hasn't been through all of these things that the body has to go through extra like what work. what are like the worst foods that people put in them that it's not easily assimilated, like you say. Well, any any kind of processed food. I mean, if you look in the ingredients, yeah, we weren't. You know, when when we were created, we weren't. You know, we didn't have boxes. You know, like, <laughs> well, that's I true because stuff, here's know? the other thing. I I have <laughs> vegan friends, and and I I did vegan for a while, but it was so hard. And you know, a lot of the vegan products. You look at it and it's got like 30, 40 ingredients. And I'm like, yeah. what the hell is this? Wait, isn't that gum or... <laughs> Wait a minute. Didn't I see that oh, in... Can't even pronounce <laughs> I can't even pronounce it. pronounce <laughs> it. Yeah. So natural, it's true though, but most people have to take the time to prep their meals. That's the, that's the thing. They don't feel they have time. And you have to look at food as you got to eat to live, not live to eat. Right. And you gotta you gotta really look at okay all the foods that I like, and forget the foods you don't like because those aren't your concern with. And then you can go on Pinterest, and you can Google stuff, and you can cook, and it's so easy. If you want to do pre prep, yeah, the night before you just how long does it take you to cut up peppers or onions? And I put it in a darn bowl. I cook myself. Yes, I cook myself. Uh, yeah. I've cooked since I was a, a little, and yes, I do like because I know I know what I'm getting. If I go out to yeah. eat, which so many people go out to eat, and you know the fat and the sodium you're getting from most restaurants. And if you notice, if you go out to eat, even though for me I'm like, okay, I order something healthy, yeah, and then I'm waking up thirsty. I'm like, <laughs> it's because it's, so, like, it's, it's exactly. like sawdust on it. Uh, and, you know, it's hard. Yeah. yeah. But uh, like exercise, but you but yeah. you didn't answer. How, most people probably should work out three to four days out of the week right you can find I, the time I'd to do say something yes, and you can do what you can do is micro workouts micro workouts are even 10 minutes of stretching yeah um or a, a 20 minute 10 minutes split it up you can do three times a day you know i'll do like i'll do whole range of motion stretches for my neck and then i'll do a lot of stretches for it because i'm always you know forward I stretch these muscles, you know. When I go in the gym, I do recovery workout before I do anything, especially with my clients. So you stretch out a lot, which I do. I do a warm up with bands yeah. and stretches and mm -hmm. rotation movement th and rolling. Now my muscles are all because I've been working all day. So then I want to pr I want to pre prep. Okay. So then my muscles are all relaxed, they're all warmed up, and then I'm going to do my workout. And in between my workout, I'm going to do stretching. Okay. So and, how long, and, uh, for you, like how long are you at the gym doing your routine? Sometimes I'll go in the morning, like because the where Quick, it is. And then 20 come back. minutes, I'll, I do a, what you call is, um, it's a super eight. It's, it's like a set. It comes out to 12 minutes. But you do a 30-second 
all out like you're flying <laughs> and then one minute you're, you're just, just going but what i do is i again i read pre uh, all recovery i do stretching i warm up i warm up my muscles and then i when i get on that i do it on the steps i hit it hard and it feels like you're you're flying into space. So you, uh, <laughs> do you know how fast your heart rate's going when you're doing those? For the most part, I can, yeah. I can, yeah. Because that, that's yeah. the key. You got to keep the heart rate yeah. going. There's there's the muscle, yeah. there's the, the lifting side, and there's the stretching, as you say. And then there's the cardiovascular, because yeah. that's the other thing, too. A lot of guys, they lift weights, they still eat like crap, and their waistline is still... You know, and that's the first to hit you in both sexes, male and female. Because, is the waistline, yeah, yeah, because you know males are losing that to stop. But a lot of it is diet too. I'm telling you, the people I go to LA Fitness because it's convenient. I live in Jupiter, and I really watch the people that are really into it. And everyone I talk to, as hard as they work out, mm -hmm. they watch what they eat religiously. They watch the carbs. They make their own foods, like you say. Yes. They eat more often. They try not to stress out too much. So that's – do you have any funny stories you want to remember about when you did the wrestling thing? <laughs> well, I, I actually went to a women's wrestling convention and okay. the Scottish Rites, and I think it was in San Diego. Okay. I stayed there for like a month and – is that I, you trained those, there? I'm one of those free spirited guys. <laughs> <laughs> like I went by myself. Anyway, um, it was good because it was all kinds of wrestling. I mean, every really? kind of walks from all walks. And it was a radio personality back then that was no, you know, the video. And they asked me. Yeah. And then this MMA girl, this little tiny girl, she's <laughs> kicking some of the girls' ass earlier. <laughs> you know. So. Uh, well, that's we got, to, we got to fling them around with it, you know. And, really? And, and it was on the radio, and it was pretty fun. I, you know? I wrestled <laughs> in high school. I was an all-state wrestler, so I think the skills really help. And uh, but what they do on TV is just crazy because they're they're flying all over the place. They're slamming them down. I know that the uh, the thing is, you know, it's not totally hard, but yeah, you but can out get out of the ring. That, you, those are only little, you know, you're small right. little mats. I mean, that's and they just slam them out there. And the women are doing. I mean, they do some pretty amazing things. I mean, I watch it religiously. They've got to be on steroids. How could they push no, their bodies girls, like that? that? Those girls do not look like on steroids. They're just athletes. They're, They're just, just crazy good they at working amazing. out. Yeah, they, you know, they have that passion and. You know, whenever you're going to do something, you're going to—it's going to show that you love what you do. But, you know? um, but it wasn't for you, right? The whole. I once I got slammed on my head in a club in Miami. You know, why this big chick? You know, <laughs> bigger than you, really? Stole it out. I was like, okay. Yeah, it's kind of. Um, this is not worth the money. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, because you, you have to get beat up pretty good before you make yeah, it big, yeah. and then you can beat up other people. Like, boom! Oh, oh. Well, that's good that you have. I know. It's just when I see some <laughs> I of the shows drinks. and, you know, it's like going to a rock concert, too. They fill these stadiums up and and people go crazy over this. They're like, yeah, yeah, as much blood and guts as they can yeah. see. They're totally into it. And uh, it's a kind of a crazy lifestyle. I, I did radio for a while and my producer was uh, he did uh, W. I think it was WWE. He was with him for like eight years and he told me some funny stories. I mean, like crazy stories. Uh, but for the most part, they were good, decent people just trying to make a living, and they were like great actors. You know, they would act like they hated each other and everything. Everything's in a story. It's in a story, right? Everything's in a story. Yeah. But I don't know if I could do that. So, but you have your you, you have your uh, fitness business now. You have the the things you do to empower women, which is yeah. great. And my best friend and I, which we met uh, twenty four years ago. Yeah. Uh, a friend of ours actually which was in fitness she introduced me to angel arsini and she actually went on to uh on with ecw okay yeah after we but we were roommates just as she was getting really into and then okay competing bodybuilding and mma and <laughs> so it was really fun being around her you know and that that badass experience <laughs> all right so then we would we we you and i becoming uh pretty good friends and stuff so Let's joke about some of the stories okay. you have. So, guys, okay. here is Joy. You know, she uh, she's a big, beautiful lady. Probably could beat most of your butts if you say the wrong thing. But she's a lady. And you tell me some of the funniest, 
craziest things yeah. that got try, try not to drop any f bombs no, or anything but but swear. tell me some of the and the last meme that you posted really cracked me up because you said this is a dating pool of where i live and it showed a uh, a duck in a little <laughs> A little blow up pool in the backyard. Is it really that bad? And, it, they, was, and it was disgusting. It this, was gross. It, it, are they really men are that crazy when they approach you? I think I think you know. I want to I want to say in the defense because I know a lot of good men. Yes, of course. Um, Not, I believe it's it's a mindset. Yeah. Of what men and women how they defy the way they look at the other sex. Okay. Or, or whatever, and it's like. Nobody wants to be in a commitment. Every or people that are in commitment, they want you as a side woman. And it, and then what I love is they don't, they don't want to tell you. They don't have the freaking castanias to tell you. See, I don't get that. that it's it's anyways, hard enough to get along yeah. with one person. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. string along yeah. three and four women. Yeah, that, yeah. Uh, it, and then you want to have your, your little girl, your little boy, and your family, and you know, yeah, they have their extra phones. And I don't know any women that do that, but I'm assuming maybe women do that too. <laughs> I don't know. You know? <laughs> but do, um, okay, so it's it's really that crazy. You're finding yeah, that guys just they don't want. You know, they're really great photographers. Oh, that's and, the other thing too, right? Yeah, and, they, and the next they wanna, minute. They want to shoot you. And, and, oh, I'm a and, photographer. I'm going to help and, your career. Oh, I know. I know. You Have you ever tried a young man? I said, you look like you're younger than my son. That's disgusting. <laughs> I'm not a pedophile. <laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> and he's like, How old no. are your and kids? Then, How old are your kids? 18, 17, and 14. And then, you know. Okay. And then he said something else, which I won't repeat. And I just blocked him. It was just like so, like, have no respect. Like, I never put that energy out there. I can understand yeah. if I put that energy out there or said something or sent a certain kind of picture. But it was just like, boom, no respect. What's it, it, it could be it could be that looks can be deceiving. Like I say, you do a lot of modeling, right? You take pictures. Yeah, you have, you're wearing a yeah. bikini. Yeah. You're, you're making a living. You're not. Uh, but you still have to respect a woman. You I mean, should. Like, yeah. Unfortunately. I mean, uh, it's just, it's just kind of crazy out there. But the reason I, the reason I find it hard to believe, because again, uh, you are a nice lady, but you're also like, you could beat the crap out well, of a I, lot of guys I, if I they actually, say the wrong thing at you. <laughs> I ward off a lot of men. I, I go into a place and I can really, I just more like read the room and oh. I'm not walking around like, Hey, I want everybody in the room to look at me. At me right. Yeah. Like, they got to look anyway. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but. Well, um, you know, uh, th there's a lot of females out there that are kind of out there, too. Uh, I'm out there playing music. Yeah. I'm a public speaker. But I don't, you know, that was many years ago when people look at me the way they used to. I'm an old guy now, so, no, you know. Not. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I think they appreciate more my my mental abilities or my musical skills than my looks department but looks only goes so far in this life yes. you know it could get you to the dance it could get you to the mm -hmm. date but then after that i mean i i uh you know I, i'm involved with someone who who's beautiful on the inside you know she's good looking as well but I'm not, you know, I'm not with her because she's a hot model and I need a trophy girlfriend mm -hmm. or something. I mean, that's just crazy. Yeah. I mean, that only goes so far. So I think what it is is we get older, it gets harder. But do men ever grow up? <laughs> well, they still... for me, I think it, what's hard is when you when you're putting out a certain vibe, they don't get it, and then it's like you like, know, at like, least yeah. at least approach a woman is with some emotional intelligence. You can't some be, class. If, you, if you're like, you know, oh, why aren't you sending me, you go on one date with the guy, and he's like, why aren't you sending me a nude picture? And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm I like, can't. I'm not sending you a nude picture. I, I still cannot believe some of the things. I have a lot of girlfriends. We're friends. The stuff they tell me, the guys do to them and say to them. And then he says, oh, well, <laughs> I'm, your, I'm your man. I'm your man. I'm like, what? <laughs> Since when? I'm one with you. I feel final. bad for you girls, but I, I think it's hilarious. Yeah, some of the stuff that they say and do. Oh, man. And so, um, but really a lot of them, they just have a few on the side and they just want you to be. You That's know. how I think a lot of it is. It's like, 
you know, every everybody like you know, for most part, people like, especially if they, that's the way they were raised. Right. Like it's you know the Italian culture. You know they want it. They have their their girl, their main girl. Oh right, their Gumar. And right. Their Gumar. Their Gumar. Yeah, then, that's right. And then they have the little. You, you know, sure you're not from Jersey or New York? Little, you're not in the Witness Protection Program. <laughs> they have the little. You know. <laughs> Am I going to get whacked the bunny, because the little bunny's coming around? I'm in and viewing a Don's ex here. Is, am I going to get whacked? No. no? You're not in the witness no. protection program? Okay. <laughs> so I that's what it is. That's what clean. happens. I don't hear nothing. You don't hear nothing. I'm like, okay. I walk and you're not home. from Jersey. I'm not from Jersey. I'm from Silver Lake. Silver Lake, Rhode Island. Okay. <laughs> Little uh, Tom, what? let me tell you. <laughs> Well, look, I, I think obviously you do work out, you know what you're doing. I think people should take you up on it. I mean, that's it's a tough profession because how many people want to work out? They don't. It's like being a doctor, well, right? And you want to do the best thing. they want a transformation, I mean, I had worked out all my life and then I got married and I had kids, you know, that were really close, you know. And sure. I didn't work out for maybe 10 to 12 years. And that would ne that never happened in my entire life. So Why? Was, Why did it happen? Well, I found myself where, you know, you're, you're already, if you don't fix things in your soul, they're not going to go away. If anything, you're going to attract the wrong type of things. I believe that. And then once you get that stuff, you're going to have to reap the harvest of what you accepted. So thank God I have three beautiful kids. They're wonderful. They're, you know, I, they are such a blessing as teenagers. I'm really blessed and thankful. But I reaped a lot of, like, 15 years of marriage that was miserable. Ah. And from someone that was extremely condescending, judgmental, and just downright miserable. And what I find is someone that's not happy with themselves, they project outward what they think about themselves and what they see in themselves. Oh. And, and fast you recognize that. It does help, but you still get the repercussion of damage over the years so after that i got into a narcissistic relationship for a year and a half the guy pretty much almost killed me and that was the end of i hate to hear these stories for five years yeah so now i am very aware and i don't give ch guys chances if i see the red flag i'm not making excuses got it and i value i i finally love myself and that's why my best friend and I, uh, the one I mentioned, Angel Arsini, we both have our testimonies. We both gained weight. We both got out of shape. We both were down in the pits almost to death. And we have a life coaching um, uh, business that we're, it's a community that we're creating to help people to um, transform their minds, transform their lives. You know, elevatedliving.life will be our, is our website. So we'll be launching Really? That. Elevated living dot life. Okay. Yeah. I think that's very yeah. important. Body, let me, soul, and spirit. Let me tell you, um, I've been mentoring students for a long time. Yes. I'm a work in progress. I we, didn't always we have are, it. We are all. Absolutely. I'm not walking. I had a yet. lot of uh, <laughs> bad stuff happen to me growing up, and I had to overcome it. Yeah. And I, I have a book called Thoughts to Live By on Amazon. I've, I, I don't even sell it. I give it to people mm -hmm. in, in hopes that it can help transform lives. And one of the things when I take clients, I, I'm their finance person. I, mm -hmm. I manage their money and take care of the families. But I always stress to them also, hey, what's going on in your personal life? You know, how are you thinking? Are you eating mm -hmm. good? Are you exercising? Because I think it is all connected. Yes. If you're not feeling good mentally and physically, mm -hmm. it's going to be hard to make the right decisions. And eating, let me tell you. And something. eating is hard. If, listen, <laughs> if you don't, if you don't eat properly, yeah. you're starving your brain. And then you wonder why that you're, you you want to use age as an excuse why your brain's not working or you can't remember things. It's actually because you're not eating the right nutrients and your brain's not getting fed. Like what are the right nutrients that people well, aren't eating? Like for instance, like for me, I'm a weirdo. I had chicken and rice and vegetables this morning. Nothing That's weird. What, <laughs> what? Oh, because that was your breakfast? <laughs> And no, I think I have a, eggs, you know. I think a lot of bodybuilders eat like that. Yeah, yeah they just but go. I'll make like egg salad. Uh, you know, I'll make with some salad. I have gluten-free bread. I, I use a, my panini maker, so I'll. So you don't do gluten? For the most part, I try to stay away from it. Okay. It's not that I'm allergic to it. It's just I'd rather stay away from it. I, sure. I find it it hits more in the 
the waistline than anything. Yeah, I got to watch mine too. Absolutely. (laughs) No, it's true. So, but you know, the other thing too is people don't, they don't take things like fish oil, which they need and vitamins and supplements. So if they're not getting the vitamins and nutrients because they're eating the processed crap that's out there, of course their body's going to be starving. If you're not eating fresh vegetables, Mm -hmm. lean proteins, Drinking water is important too, right? A lot of people don't Absolutely. drink enough water. Eighty percent of our body and drinking water. They have apps now that you can get. If you're forgetful. It will, I mean, uh, mine goes off. Oh, time. does it? Does it tell you if you're <laughs> deficient in your yeah, water? Say like, drink something. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. So you know, we have so many things to remind us. I know we're okay. busy and everything, but we really have to grow up. We have to be more accountable, be more responsible, and. We have to look at everything, you know, not like a business, but look at everything that we need to have decency and order. We have to have structure. We have to have God guidelines and fun, you know, morals, respect, like all of these things. Like that's what I'm, I have teenagers and I spend a lot of time at home, you know, with them. Like I do go out, but you know, I'm no, I I hear you. What, what you're describing to me is them, you know, what you're describing to me is the fact is that life is a grind folks it's not meant to be easy never was easy there are no shortcuts Mm -mm. and you're talking about old-fashioned living good stuff good habits because life is hard life is hard it's a grind Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know uh if i could eat pizza and chicken wings every day i'd probably love it but i don't like it as much as i used to so i really don't you know and and thinking correctly here's the other thing too a lot of people forget to relax. They're always going. That's, That's you. Thing. Yeah. You gotta relax. I'm it's gonna show like, you how to relax. I, I, it's like <laughs> a, it's hard for me. To, I, well, it's because yeah. you drink too much coffee. No. You said it's no, one of no. your. Honestly, I think because I have such a I, I'm, I have ADD. But, okay. But when I'm really focused yeah. about something, like even when I do massages and I'm doing specific work on people with. You know, they had backward surgery and post-surgery, you know, and I got to, you know, specifically work on an area carefully. Like, I don't think of anything else but that person and I'm breathing. It's like a, like a, like a Tai Chi, you know. I'm, yeah. Because in order to do six and a half hours, which I've done with no break. That's insane. Stretching in between the 10 minutes. I I don't know how you do that. Yeah. (laughs) Your hands must say the heck with you. And then you went to the (laughs) gym. I I did my recovery work. You gotta relax. For 15 minutes, I did, I rolled. (laughs) Do you ever just do nothing? Yes, on my couch, I love doing that. Okay, yeah, Yeah, because that's good. You know, I I, I always say, uh, I haven't been bored in about 15 years, maybe I gotta <laughs> think back because whenever I don't have anything to do, I really embrace it. And because Which is never for me, <laughs> right? The business. I mean, I'm playing tomorrow night in Fort Lauderdale. Friday, I'm playing in Sunrise, and then Monday, I'm playing in Boca Raton. I'm having a birthday show the day before, and and then the next day, I'm going to Key West because I'm going to be presenting. Oh, awesome. Well, I'm going there for business. I'm going to be presenting to uh, 40 HR directors from 40 different companies because I, I do like to public speak. And maybe, you know, maybe we could do some together because I think the fitness and the mental thing goes hand in hand. Yes. And so does the finance. And what you're describing, once again, is a structured life with yes. purpose because it's work. It doesn't just happen. People... Uh, I, I keep this on so I could read this because I can see 300 yards away like a hawk, but throw something in front of me, forget it. <laughs> me too. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know how that happens, right? Yeah, I, that's uh, why I had you write it down before. I did want to write that down. I yeah. think it's great. Tell people again uh, your phone number and your website if they want to. Uh, fitnessforjoy.net. I'm going to start having more memberships because I really believe that that will motivate people. I, I tried to uh, complimentary massage therapy. I'm telling you, I'm not just saying because I sure. do it a living. It is one of the most important things that you can do for your body. I had a client that I had him before his surgery, which he had three surgeries, his back fused. And I did every single day in the hospital. I snuck in there. They thought it was his wife. It was hysterical. Oh, that's funny. It was hysterical. <laughs> 
I know that. <laughs> did you dress? Did you dress you risque or word. something? Yeah, Nothing. No, I just had clothes on. But I'm telling you, I saw this man. He kept saying, "Thank you so much," You're because so he had scout. And he was in bad shape. I mean, yeah. so uncomfortable. Well, everybody and, would and love to do massage, but they can't afford it. Well, you know, like again, if you know, you if if you contact me, I will work. Especially, I know you single moms. I know. Yeah, there you go. I know. I know. Even single fathers, I have friends of them too. I have whenever I can get food, somebody gives me from a place like all meats. I I pass it along to my guy, single dads, because I know there's a lot of you out there. Um, but we have to really help each other within in the community or, you know, I see my kids and that is my drive. My kids are my drive because I know they're looking at me and I know that they respect me more right. because how I used to be when I was in, you know, in the situation I was in, my mind was out of order. And I found myself that I was following the patterns of my mother. And that was the most scariest thing. And when I got introduced through that relationship with the, the narcissist. With the wackadoo, yeah. The good thing was I was introduced to adult children, alcoholics, and dysfunctional families. And let me tell you something. That laundry list woke my eyes up. That was the moment. And and then on top of it, I was blessed with a... A, a counselor <laughs> you want to go to a counselor and she goes why don't we just have you guys separate it was a blessing because between that did she tell you to run no but she was like it was like she was asking me the right questions yeah and it was like you know i was i was working enough on my spirit i was meditating i was listening to prayer so i was doing the work yeah. but i still had those soul things in me you know that i had to like realize that i'm worthy and that i and that i'm loved that i do not deserve to be treated like this or be around anybody like this so i want to help empower everybody to be that same way to own you know own your own yeah you know love yourself find your purpose take responsibility for your your who you are and forgive the people i have um, a miracle happen with my dad my dad was the last person on the face of the earth that I ever think that would turn to God and change his life and stop drinking. And he did because of me forgiving him and loving him right where he was. And, A lot of people, you know, uh, they say they're Christians, but they haven't uh, figured out that forgiving factor, you know? That changed Like when life. Jesus said, let he among you without sin cast the first stone. It boggles my mind. I try not to lose sleep over it how people hold on to grudges or don't forgive mm -hmm. people. And the way, the way I look at it is there are some exceptions. But for the most part, if people are genuinely sorry and they apologize mm -hmm. for what they did, who in the hell are you to not accept that? Do you follow me? And even if they and, don't, you got to forgive them for yourself too. Correct, correct. So yeah. it's just God is the key as well because if I live from this world, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be a wackadoo as well. But it's hard. We're talking about things that it takes uh, yeah. effort to do. It doesn't just happen naturally. Yeah. And that's and just have the patience to, to put up with the way people act. And I mean, I have guys like I was just leaving this movie theater, dropping my son off. And he just runs up to me. I felt somebody over there like, trying to run. And he's like, hey. And I was like, what? I said, I'm, I'm not giving my number out. Please he's please. running after you. Yeah. That always works. I'm like, guys, okay. if you want to go out with Joy, just stalk her, right, run Jesus. after her. <laughs> and pretend you want to work out with her. Like, okay, You'll go really God, far. <laughs> I'm going to be nice to him. I'm like, I'm not giving you my number. Get away from me. So I was nice. Well, I think what it is, words. is men are aggressive yeah. by nature. Think about it as from a female perspective. He was like 25. So, yeah. But <laughs> since you were like a young girl, at what age did you figure out, oh, wait a minute. I can't go to the grocery store, the drug store, or do anything the with some guy coming up and hitting on me. It's, it's just by natural. But you know, it's funny because I'm 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 getting to know you and, and you're so not someone could look at you and go, yeah. Oh man, she's yeah. built for speed and she just wants to party. Yeah. And, and so that that's what's happening, you see. Yeah. And then if they do speak with you I run from it. I, I was <laughs> <So> on, he, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was on Atlantic Avenue to meet my friend and I didn't I said, Oh my god, look at all these people and yeah. I literally grabbed a piece of pizza and I left. And I went and watched fireworks at a friend's house 
on the water that was quiet and peaceful. <laughs> While the things are blowing <laughs> up on the like, background, yes. yeah. <laughs> and everybody waiting an hour to leave the city. Well, look, I, I totally uh, respect and appreciate your your, your single mom. You raised yeah. three kids. You're working hard. It's tough out there. A lot of businesses. Yeah. It's struggling. People are spending less, and you're you're offering a great service. So yeah. I hope that uh, you know I'll send you definitely the breakdown of the show that yeah. people could utilize this, and um, and who knows? You know, I hope you get some some bona fide clients, not just. But it's hard because even the other trainers that I know, I know quite a few trainers. That's what they do for a living. It's hard to keep clients because. People are going to want to have to keep working out, and they may start and do it for a couple of weeks, well, the, and then all of a sudden they let it go. They they have an, an option like I can, you know, write out training programs you do. for them, you know, and then you know make it where they're still going to have to have their accountability no matter what, what any way you look at it. And with FaceTime and all of the different things that we get right on our phones. Exactly. You know, I can instruct you, you know, right in person while you're working out, you know, or so, be in your living room, I mean. Yeah. Like. <laughs> so before I let you go, we know about the uh, the girls' night out on November 10th. Is there something else that's coming up maybe in the next couple of months that you're working on? Um, um, I'm, I am going to actually working on a pro wrestling thing, but I'll be a valet. Oh really? Angel Orsini, yeah. So we'll be uh, looking at tour in different cities with uh Just when you uh, thought you were out, they bring yeah. you back in, right? And I got a cool <laughs> outfit, so I'm gonna get ready to wear them. <laughs> And then I get to flex my muscles. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Guys, she might have a bigger bicep than me. No, your bicep's me. bigger than mine. Yeah? You still got a bicep there. I still do a little bit. He's I don't got really... a forearm, too. <laughs> well, I work out once in a while, as much as I can. Cardio. Cardio is the key, yes. Yep. And my diet. No, I've got to eat good. Many workouts. All right. Well, folks, what a, uh, what a joy, no pun intended. Pun intended. Joy Nash here, ladies and gentlemen. Great to have you as a guest. I hope to see you again soon. Come to one of my shows. Maybe I'll can introduce you to some guys that aren't out of their minds. Okay. You know, I doubt it. There's a lot of them that are kind of, you know, fruity. Don't worry. I'll but I think them. you I'll can see handle the yourself. If they're there. <laughs> Well, definitely just have fun with it. Wear your okay. heels so that you'll be about 6'2", so you're then looking I'll, at them. That will be the true test. Yeah, you that go, will be. Oh, gee, how tall are you? Then they're already, <laughs> got a flag already throw out the window. Anyway, I hope um, you enjoyed interviewing uh, uh, this this fitness coach, entrepreneur, and uh, we'll see you next time on the Denny Artachi Show. <laughs>